Hello, this is Jared Hicks from Monsoon Solutions, and just wanted to give you a quick breakdown of what is included when you order one of our uh, high voltage power monitors and to do a initial setup so we can get it working on your computer. So we have right here the box that the power monitor comes in. Uh, it's got the details of the equipment right on the front here. There will be a shipping box that this comes inside, but this is what you should expect to see. Inside, the first thing you're going to see is this card right here. This has the link to our website as well as the link to uh, the power tool software which you can download from uh, power monitor support right here and also the email address if you have any general questions or if you have any issues with your power monitor you can email us right here and one of us will get back to you. Next thing is going to be this piece of paper right here. This is a calibration report which is included with every high voltage power monitor. It is signed by the technician who calibrated the device and it has the details of the different uh, channels and what the calibration results were. So you can refer back to this if you need some documentation on what the calibration was at the different voltages and the resistance of the, uh, the resistors we used to calibrate the device. Inside the box itself, uh, we have our power cable right here. It's just a standard three-prong power cable you'd get with any computer. And we have some accessory cables here. We've got a USB micro, and then we have a couple of USB A to Bs. Uh, these will be what you use to connect the power monitor to the computer itself. We also have a couple of uh, banana plug gator clips right here. These are primarily used for the main channel of the power monitor and come in really handy when you're trying to connect uh, devices to the, to the power monitor. And we've got our power brick right here fairly standard power brick, and then we have the power monitor itself in an anti-static bag. And that's what it should look like when it comes from us. And so we've got our, got our UL listing here. If you wanted to look any of this up, you can check us on the UL listings. All right, let's hop over to the computer and we'll show you how to do the initial setup on this and get the drivers installed so you can start using this to test. All right, we're just going to take you through the driver setup on this and how to confirm that it has been properly installed. Um, if you've already installed PowerTool, the quickest way to verify whether your uh, power monitor has been installed properly is to fire up the PowerTool software itself. And so if you turn it on, or sorry, if you fire a power tool and you don't have the power monitor itself turned on, it's going to bring up the device select screen here. And so I'm going to go ahead and turn on my power monitor and hit refresh on this, and it's going to bring up my serial number. And so I do not currently have the drivers installed for this device. And so if we take a look down here, we can see a question mark, a couple of zeros. Uh, the only thing that looks like it's populated properly would be the software version, which is correct. And so this is the easiest way to tell whether your device drivers have been properly installed. And so we're just going to run through that driver installation really quick here. And so if we bring up the device manager, we can see that there is a new piece of hardware right here. So we're going to go ahead and update the driver. And it's going to be located, we're just going to show you here, it's going to be in on your C drive. Uh, as long as this is your default location, if you installed it somewhere else, just navigate to your uh, power tool installation directory. But by default, it's going to be in program files x86 under Monsoon Solutions Incorporated, and then in the drivers folder, HVPM, and then PC is going to be this particular driver. And so we'll go ahead and install that. And you should see Monsoon Power Monitor right there. And it should be refreshed as a universal serial bus adapter or sorry, universal serial bus uh, device. And so we'll go ahead and fire up power tool again. All right, and we can see here we now have a hardware rev showing G firmware version of 32 and a prop version of one. And most likely your hardware version is either gonna be a G or an F. G is the latest revision. Uh, so if you've bought a power monitor recently, that's what's gonna show up as. Um, if you have an older low voltage power monitor, it's going to have a couple different values here, but as long as you've got stuff that aren't question marks or zeros, you should be good to go. Uh, but we're not quite uh, done with the setup. There's, a, there's also a firmware driver that needs to be installed. And to do this one, you're going to actually turn your power monitor back off 
and then you're going to hold down the button on the front labeled reflash and you want to hold that down while turning the power monitor on and so what you should get now is an unknown device populating here and we're going to go ahead and update this driver and instead of the pc folder you're just going to want to point this to the firmware in that same hvpm driver's location and we're going to go ahead and install that and you should see micro microchip custom usb device here and so you can confirm that in there as well and what this allows you to do if we fire a power tool one more time what this allows you to do is it's actually going to highlight this reflash button right here if you're having problems or if a new firmware version is released and you need to update the firmware uh, you would use this reflash feature right here for the most part you're not going to run into a use or uh, an everyday use for it but it's good to have it there if you need it um, other than that once you get these two drivers installed you're all ready to go and you can go ahead and start testing if you have any other questions feel free to send an email to the email addresses listed in the description and thanks for watching